Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. So today we're here with baby Shiloh and we're going to be doing her day in the life. So she's actually sleeping right now. She has her unicorn lovey and she's just sleeping in this like bassinet. Um, she doesn't sleep in the crib because she's a little too small for that. Still, I think she's a little too young, but she's sleeping right now and I'm going to get her bottle ready. So when she wakes up, it'll be ready for her to eat. So here we have her bottle and I have a spoon and there's some formula inside of this. I don't know if you can see it. That's where I keep it in this cute little container. So we actually have to fill up her bottle. We're using this one. She likes this one. It has, I think we're gonna fill it up to the four. Here we go, we're gonna fill it to the four. Now we have to give her two scoops of this. So here we go. Put the lid back on. Move that over. Put this on so it doesn't get everywhere. So it should be good. I'll have to take a look at it just to be sure. Um, there's some bubbles, so we have to wait for them to like calm down. I just move them aside. Looks like we have some pretty good milk. I'm just gonna like mix it a little. That was like pretty good formula. So we'll go with this. Shouldn't spill good. Okay, our bottle is in there instead. Let's see. Yeah, now it's nice and warm. So that should be good for her and she should be awake by the time I go back to the nursery. And I was right, she's awake. She kicked her blankie off, so I'm just gonna take that. She has her unicorn right here. She spit out her passy. Hello, Shiloh. Good morning, pretty princess. Look at her, guys. So I think she's pretty hungry. We're gonna get her out of here. Come on out, pretty girl. We're gonna put Shiloh in this little bouncer for her breakfast, so here we go. Put her in and we can adjust the straps so she can be buckled right in. Huh. Here we go. Her hair is everywhere. I'm gonna turn it on so we can give her some bouncing because she likes that when she has her breakfast. Here we go. <laughs> it's like very quietly and she likes the nature sounds too. Here we go, sweetie. She really likes the bottle, so. You can see it's like swinging these. Hmm, oh, she likes her bottle. She takes this one really good. Some brands she just does not like. Um, she doesn't like Nook. Tummy Tippy she likes. Latch she likes. She does not like, um, the Dr. Browns and she doesn't like the parents choice ones so she likes different kinds but this is definitely one of them I forget what brand this bottle is but it's a really good one and she really likes it so it works and it's really cute yeah and it's nice and soft and a good slow flow for her it's like a good pace so she's just gonna have her bottle and we'll be back when she's done with this. So she's pretty much done, you all done? Wow, she drank a lot. There's just like a little bit left. Let's see. Yeah, it's just kind of the foam. So she was really hungry and that means she's gonna have a full diaper. So we're gonna have to change her diaper and change her outfit too. So looks like we'll be doing that. <laughs> so we took the little princess thing off the top. I'm gonna turn off the animal sounds and the bouncing so I can change her easier. But we're gonna change her right here because she can do this. So, here we go. Let's see. So she has a really cute sleeper on. This one is 
pale blue with some uh, darker blue and like hot pink almost like not hot pink but like some pink flowers and pink trim very pretty so she has a white onesie on as most of my babies do we're gonna give her this mermaid diaper in replace of the one that she's wearing she has this hot air balloon one on we are gonna trade those out here we go she wears pretty big diapers these are size two I actually just got some size threes for uh, for her. I think this one's actually a size three. No, this one's a size two. Okay, size three might be a little big on her then, but I just got her some size threes. <laughs> so, yeah. Somebody on Instagram was selling them and like some from their collection and it was like five for six dollars and I thought that was a good deal, so. I thought that she could wear them. They might be a little big, but I think she can still wear them. And um, Maisie can wear them too. So they can wear diapers together. So I was thinking these two girls could wear them. They only had size threes for sale, so. That's what I got. We'll have to see how they fit on you, huh? So now we're gonna put her into this onesie, which is a really pretty color. I actually have not put her in this outfit before. This is I actually just took the tags off of this because it's been hiding in the back of the closet. But I got the, this is actually the very first outfit that I got for her and she hasn't even worn it yet. It's kind of a springy outfit, I think, so that's probably why. But um, it was kind of nicer out today. It's, her, it's almost 50, so it's like 48 right now. So it's pretty nice. So I thought that she could wear something that's a little bit for warmer weather. It's been nice these past two days. And we are filming this on Sunday. It might not be uploaded until like Monday or Tuesday because these take a while to edit. It's gonna be a long video. All right, there we go. So her pants, they're like a heather gray. And so, I don't know how I really feel about the heather. I feel like I'm not a big fan of it but I mean, they still wear it. I think actually I'm wearing other gray leggings too. Yeah, mine are just darker. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I feel like I just like plain better than Heather gray or like Heather anything. <laughs> I don't know, just my thoughts. Oh, I didn't get a hairbrush for her, but I got her headband. And then this is the little sweatshirt. It's like a light pink and it has uh, like those magenta corally colored flowers with some green leaves. And some, there's some yellow in there. I could have got her a yellow headband to like bring back that little touch of yellow, but I did not. She has a pink headband. And I think we're gonna go on a walk in a little bit. But yeah, we'll probably go on a walk in the afternoon. All right, where's that hood? Pretty girl, there we go. I'm gonna get her little shoes. They're, they kind of match this. So they're just like little Mary Janes and they have some glittery pink spots on them. You can see the glittery pink on different parts of the shoe. Really cute. She wears newborn shoes actually because their shoes run big. There we go. I got her, here's her passy. It's a Dr. Brown's one, so she won't take their bottles. She doesn't usually like their pacifiers, but she likes it today. And I picked this headband, but this actually looks really big. And it's not really matching now that I look at it. I, didn't, I need to brush her hair too, so I'm probably gonna go do her hair and find a better matching headband for her. So I moved Shiloh into a different bouncer because this one has some more interactive toys. It has this one that like spins around with these little balls and there's a mirror so she can see herself. And that's like a little lion. This one has these rings that make a bunch of noise. So, and then she can also bounce herself in this one. It has, I think this one has batteries somewhere. I don't really know. But um, when I set it up, I couldn't get the batteries to work. So I actually, I'm not positive that it actually will. Here we go. Here's the button. 
Yeah, now, when I tried to set this one up when I first got it, it wasn't working, so I can bounce her. She'll probably bounce herself, but she's just going to play in there for a little while, and I'll probably take her on a walk around lunchtime, so I think we'll see you guys back around then. So I have our car seat here. We're going to put Shiloh in. I think I need to readjust the straps because I think they are not adjusted to her size. Oops, she doesn't want that. Come here, honey. Yeah, no. Hold on, I'm gonna get her out for a second. Here we go. So we're gonna go for a walk outside. Ooh, they might even still be a little small. She's a big girl. <laughs> Oops, it's getting caught on your bracket. I'm gonna move this up to her chest. I think this one needs to be a little longer. Might as well pull that one too. And then I'll tighten them back. There we go. That seems to be perfect. So. Perfect. She looks adorable. And then we can get her onto the stroller. So here's our travel system. I'm putting her on. I heard the click, and then there's a little strap over here that clips on. Perfect. And then actually, I do have a toy that goes on the thing, so I'll put that on for her. Actually, I think she likes it on the other side. I have to flip it around. <laughs> yeah. So she has her Love by Mommy blankie, her little toys right here. She's interested in that. Um, and we have this Honest bottle. I forgot she liked the Honest one. So we have this one for her with her milk for lunch. So I think she's all ready to go on her walk. So here we are, we're outside going for our walk. And um, I put the little shade up over her. So you always want everyone peeking at your baby. But um, yeah, we're going for a walk. So we're getting down. My house is probably halfway around the neighborhood now. Um, see, we saw a few neighbors. And yeah, so this path goes all the way down and around into a cul-de-sac, so we're gonna cut off and go this way. We're getting pretty far. There was someone walking their dog. Um, there's some snow right here. And, oh, making noises. She's, she likes seeing the dog. Oh, I could have got on the sidewalk, but I also couldn't have. We'll probably jump up there, but we're almost there. We just have to go down this big hill and then around the corner. So we got on the sidewalk to be safe. And yeah, we're just going down this giant hill. It's going quick because downhill is so much faster than uphill. And so that's what we're doing. And we're almost back and then we're going to have her bottle. All right, guys, we made it all the way back to my house. So now she's going to have her bottle. I think I'll bring her down to the end and she can have her bottle down there. So I just locked the stroller. I can lock it on both so now it won't move anywhere. And we have her bottle. So, and I wanna move this out of the way. I need both hands, hold on. All right, so we have her bottle. I'm gonna put her pacifier inside the lid of the bottle so it doesn't get dirty. I'm gonna put that right there. And now we can give her her bottle. Are you excited? Are you hungry? She looks hungry. There we go. So now she's gonna have her bottle and then that'll be her lunch and this should have hopefully made her really sleepy so she will go down and have a nap right when we get back inside. She started rubbing her ears which is usually a sign that she's tired. So she finished her bottle and we're gonna bring her back inside. And there goes my phone again. We have to unlock the stroller. There we go and now we can get her inside and down for a nap. Hey guys, I have Shiloh in the swing and she's been playing in here. We keep this blanket over it because it's more cuddly and cozy for the babies than just the fabric. But she has her pacifier, which she has spit out and she has a teething toy right here with a little giraffe because she should be getting teeth in the next uh, few months. So starting some teething toys early to get her used to it. So she's just playing in the swing. She really likes the swing. And you can see she looks like she's yeah, having an interesting time. But it's almost 5 o'clock, so 
she's going to be getting ready to have a bottle soon. So she'll have her bottle and then we're going to do a bath and then um, pajamas in bed. So yeah, that is going to be Shiloh's night, but she's just been hanging out over here and just playing. She's been playing pretty much all day, but yeah. All right, guys. So here's Shiloh. She's just been relaxing and we have the music playing and she's bouncing. And so I have this bottle ready for her, for her dinner. It's in an Avent bottle because she likes this one. So here we go. She looks hungry. Are you hungry? Go. Oops. <laughs> she doesn't want to take it. Here you go. And it's some bottle she just doesn't like. She actually likes the Avent. So she's going to drink this. And then we're gonna get her into a bath. And then from there, we're gonna put on her pajamas and just get her ready for bed. So she's all done eating. So whoop, I just bam, uh, bumped into her. <laughs> now we can get her out. All right, I actually have to get her undressed. I'm gonna take this part off. It's so much harder to change her with that thing in the way. Oops, that's gonna fall from where I put it. Let's put it right there. <laughs> All right, so we have to get her undressed so she can go into her bath. <laughs> she is probably not excited. She doesn't really like the bath that much, but we gotta keep the baby clean. So here we go. We're gonna get her. Alrighty, I'm just like putting all her stuff on the little table next to me. Oops, sorry, I just bumped you guys. Yeah, it's pretty dark out. Cause it is like pretty late. We actually didn't feed her till around 6.30. It's around seven now, so she's been eating for a while. <laughs> she likes to take her time, but yeah, so. She has her white onesie and her diaper on. But, um, yeah. We're gonna get these off of her. So she can go take her bath. <laughs> that was a good ending of the song. Look at that hair. It's everywhere. We'll get this diaper off of you. There we go. So, now she's ready for her bath. And we're gonna... Turn this off and go get her into her bath. Come here, pretty girl. Ooh. Here we go. Oh, she feels so different without all that stuff on her. Here she is in her little towel and she looks so sweet. Look at those little piggy toes. <laughs> she looks so precious. So we're gonna be putting her into some pajamas and she's all dried off. I'm gonna get her out of the towel actually. Sweet girl. <laughs> okay. Here we go. We're gonna get her diaper on. So she still has the mermaid one. Oops. <laughs> That's such a weird positioning. Here we go. I wanted to try and just lift her up and get it under her, but it wasn't really working. It's all pulled up in the back. That hair is everywhere. We're gonna have to brush it. <laughs> all right, here's her white onesie. Oh, <laughs> she's so cute. All right. Here we go. <sighs> she keeps sliding. It's like she doesn't want to be up here. Okay. Now for her pajamas. We're going to stick this on her first. So I picked out this really cute outfit set. It has some socks. So we're going to put those on first, actually. They're little white socks, but then it looks like it's a purple Mary Jane. <laughs> Very cute. So we have those. 
for her tiny little toes. Then it is this button up sleeper. It could turn into a gown. I'm pretty sure it turns into a gown. Right, is this one of the ones that turns into a gown? Let me see. Yes, it is. But I'm not a big fan of gowns. So <laughs> I keep it as like a romper, like a footless sleeper. That's how I keep it. And then she wears the socks. I'm not a big fan of gowns, so. Whenever they're like the ones that you can turn into either, I just keep them as the little footless sleepers. I don't know, I've just never really liked gowns. Here we go. I forgot this one could turn into a gown. I never do it as a gown, so. Maybe someday someone will wear it as a gown. But I doubt it, because I don't like gowns. <laughs> Alright. This is going to be such a long video. I don't even want to think about editing this, huh, Shiloh? <laughs> it's probably a job for tomorrow. <laughs> it's still Sunday. I don't even know what time it is. I'll have to get my phone so I can figure out what time it is. But here we go. It also has this little bib. Oh, this has, it's white and it has um, teal and purple birds all over it and some gray flowers. And then here's her uh, bib that goes over it. It has a teal and a purple bird and it says, Mommy's Little Sweetie. I like birds a lot, so. Yeah, I usually just do the bibs over their heads instead of like unbuttoning them because it's so much easier. There we go, that's really cute. And then it also has a hat. Her hair, I'm just gonna kind of like brush it with my fingers. Try and get her a little swoop. There we go. And then it has this little hat that I can put on her, which looks so precious. And then she has her passy, which is a like teal smoo soothie. I was going to call it a smoothie, but it's not a smoothie. <laughs> so there we go. I think we're going to read her a little storybook. Let's, I'll find out what time it is for you guys. All right, guys. So it is 8.10. And so it's getting pretty late. So we're going to get Shiloh off to bed. I'm going to read her a little story from this Disney Animal Stories book. So I have Shiloh right here on my lap. And we are going to be reading The Ugly Duckling, which is a great story. And I think it's good for her to see the ugly duckling. Peck, 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 came a tiny sound. Mother duck felt movement beneath her. Excitedly, she stood up to watch perfectly fuzzy yellow heads emerge from their eggs. At last, they'd come into the world. One, two, three, four, quacked father duck, but one egg had not hatched yet. It was the biggest egg, the one that made mother duck so uncomfortable while she sat waiting. Finally, it started to crack open. The ducks watched, watched expectantly. Father Duck was quacking proudly until he saw a white head appear. White, he thought. The large duckling looked like a strange clown with a piece of eggshell on his head. Here we go, that's better. So those are the pictures on that page. The white duckling smiled happily at his new family, but his family did not smile back. Mother Duck was quite upset. She hid the little yellow ducklings beneath her wing. Where did this come from, Father Duck quacked angrily. Mother Duck was certain this was no child of hers. Poor little duckling, oh Shiloh. Leading her beautiful yellow ducklings to the pond, Mother Duck kept an uncertain eye on the ugly youngster waddling along behind her. Still, the white duckling was excited. He didn't understand that Mother Duck didn't want him around. The poor little duckling thought the world was perfect and that, and grand as he climbed on his mother's back in the middle of the pond. Quack, 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 said the yellow ducklings. Mother Duck smiled at them proudly. <laughs> he is much bigger than the other ones. Honk, honk, said the white duckling. The others stared at him. Ducks do not make honking sounds, thought Mother Duck. She pushed the strange and ugly white duckling off her back and swam away with her four perfect yellow ducklings. Sadly, the white duckling watched the others swim away from him. What did I do wrong, he wondered. He was lonely. This great new world was not so grand anymore. He swam in circles by himself. Climbing ashore, he stopped to look at his reflection in the water. I am an ugly duckling, he discovered. My feathers are white and my neck is long. No wonder Mother Duck did not love me. 
The ugly duckling hung his head and wept. He waddled through the marshes, wondering what to do. Chirp, chirp, called four friendly little marsh birds. The ugly duckling climbed into their nest and snuggled with them. Then the mother marsh bird threw a worm into her children. Or threw a worm to her children. The ugly duckling caught it easily. When the mother marsh bird saw this, she pecked and squawked the squawked the ugly duckling and chased him out of the nest. The ugly duckling was so frightened that he ran and ran. When he reached the water, he swam without looking where he was going. Bang! The ugly duckling hit something hard. Nervously, he looked up and saw a duck. The duck was smiling. A friend, thought the duckling. He did not realize that the duck was made of wood. He, sw he happily swam around it and climbed onto its back. With a great big bounce, he dove into the water. The wooden duck bobbed up and down. Its stiff bill hit the duckling on the head. Thinking this new friend was angry, the duckling swam away. He was so sad that he did not notice the graceful swan, swimming, sw graceful swan family swimming nearby. Honk, 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 called the little swans curiously. The ugly duckling opened his eyes in surprise. These creatures looked and sound just like me, he thought. Can it be true? He blinked his eyes, and they were still honking for him to join them. Joyfully, the white duckling splashed in the pond. The little swans swam and played with him. The duckling was having so much fun, but he forgot about being ugly. He had friends. Then the mother swan appeared. She was more beautiful than anything he had ever seen. He looked longingly at her graceful neck and white, white feathered wings, which curved so softly on her back. But when, he was, but when the little swan swam to her, he remembered that he did not belong. No one wanted an ugly duckling. Downhearted, he swam away. Honk, honk, called his friends. They did not want him to leave. Even the mother swan came close and bent her neck, neck stroking him tenderly. She wrapped her lovely wings around him in a warm embrace. My little lost swan, she honked joyfully. I'm a swan, he wondered happily. Surrounding him with their friendly faces, the swans welcomed him into their family. That was such a cute little story from the little Disney Animal Stories book. So I think that should put Shiloh down to sleep. She looks pretty tired, so I'm going to get her ready to go to bed. All right, guys, well, she's all wrapped up. She has this little blanket, says love by mommy. She has her little unicorn stuffy, or lovey, I guess. So she's gonna go to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching this Day in the Life of Shiloh. I'm hopefully going to do Day in the Lives of More Babies um, soon. I'll try and maybe do one every weekend for a little bit, or just try and get some more going, because I know a lot of people like the Day in the Life videos. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please click like and subscribe and in the comments let us know uh, who you'd like to see a day in life of next. And we'll see you guys later. Bye! <music>